I just want to preface this video by saying I it's out of order basically um, I was editing two videos at the same time and I put the one up before it should have gone up and this one should have gone up so I'm just gonna preface that by saying if it's a little out of order I apologize I don't know if you need to know that information or if you even care to know that information but I contemplated not even putting up this video that you're about to watch because it's out of order and it just made me feel kind of weird um, so with that being said here you go for the sake of full transparency I messed up big time and it could have been bad um, but I think I may have caught it just in time so I've been coming into the greenhouse while well, I come in here every day I practically live in here and I started noticing some of the plants just are not doing very well and they're dying and I think that has to do with the soil that I put in these cups. I just don't think it drains enough. I think that it's very soggy and it stays wet for a long time. And so what I did yesterday is I came in here and I replanted. I started to replant anyway. So that is what I need to do is I need to get in here and get my hands dirty. Some of these are just beyond fixing, but like, so this one here, like I didn't even water this today or yesterday. I think this is from like a couple days ago and it's just so wet. Plus the fact, I also think because it is getting a lot hotter in here. So I do need to plug my fan back in so I can get the heats kind of circulating uh, in the greenhouse. But yeah, kind of a bummer to put all that work into starting seeds and then have them start to die. So. I'm just going to come in here and start doing what I was doing yesterday, which basically is I've made sure to um, m make this soil so that it's very light, very airy, very fluffy um, so that it can get really good drainage. I added a lot of the perlite and some coconut core in here as well. So hopefully that will mitigate this problem. But what I'm doing is I'm just gently coming in here and again, like that's from a while ago, watering a couple days ago, um, and that's not good. So I'm just going to put it back in the same cup, but I'm adding different soil in here in hopes that it will make a difference because I do not want all of that planning to be for naught. So, and I have a container below me here where I'm putting all the soil because it's good soil, it's just too compact. What I'm doing is I'm just getting as much of that soil out of there, taking my dowel, putting that in there. I went a little deep there, but and then just putting these new little seedlings in here and then I'm just taking a light handful of whatever this stuff is I don't even know what it is and just putting it over top to kind of help retain moisture but um, not too much that's kind of the goal here is moisture but not too much so I'm gonna get that done and taken care of and hopefully I will be able to salvage most of these little babies.
I need to head down to Walter Anderson because as I mentioned, my peppers just are not doing very well and we are pretty much out of our last frost. So I am going to see if they have any of the peppers that I specifically started seeds from and that are no longer growing so that I can have some peppers to put in the ground. Okay, I'm at Walter Anderson. I don't know how much talking I'm gonna be doing because I get very weird in front of people when I'm recording. I just don't like, dude, it's embarrassing. So we will see what happens, but I am going to be picking up some pepper plants. I know that, um, and it looks like they have all the plants out right now. So let's go see what we can find. So most of the things that they have here are like tomatoes. I did grab a couple of Tabascos and as you saw, I grabbed the one that had three because they are pretty easy to take apart and for the price, you might as well get more bang for your buck. So I'm gonna go back over and look at the other vegetables that are on the other tables and see what else I can find. Like I said, I'm just here for peppers really. Uh, Cause I have cucumbers, I have squash. Um, so let's go see what they have. to Lowe's because I needed to get some materials to not only finish a project but to also start a project and while I was there I thought it would be kind of interesting I guess to bring you guys along and show you what plants they have right now out there uh, for you guys to choose from and I also went to Walter Anderson as well so most of the plants at Lowe's were things like tomatoes, basic tomatoes, like just your basic standard things like cherry tomatoes, a couple Roma tomatoes, uh, big beef steak tomatoes, um, things like basic peppers, eggplant, strawberry, onion, uh, things like that. And their plants are going for about four, $4.69, I think, each plant. Or for the smaller ones, I think it's the same price for a six pack. Um, and then I decided to grab these ranunculas here because um, I want ranunculas in my flower bed. And I saw these and they were a decent price. They were $9.98 for these. And although they don't look the greatest, I think once I get them in the ground, they will start doing better. But I got them because this one has purple and yellow. And then this one has this really, really beautiful orange. And then this off-white yellow cream one with like pink splash on the petals. So I got four different colors. Uh, and yeah, I'm excited to put those out front. As for what I got at... Oh, and then I went to Aldi's and they had um, a Dahlia. It says one Dahlia, but there's actually three, I think, in here. So I'm going to get those in the ground as well. But then the stuff that I got at Walter Anderson, slightly more expensive... Uh, all of their, whether it's in a pot like this or a six cell, they are $5.99. So like I said, a little bit more expensive, um, but that's okay. I got habanero peppers and I tried to get plants that had multiple seeds in them. Like this one, I believe has three. Yeah, there's three in here. So habanero, uh, this is Tabasco. Um, a lot of my Tabascos did not do well. So I went ahead and bought Tabasco and this one has 
four in it. Some uh, bell peppers, these are the sun sweet orange and this one has two. This is the mucho nacho jalapeno pepper and this one has two as well. Serrano peppers and there's about 10 in this six cell here. I just got this one because I thought it would be kind of neat to try and grow. I've never grown one before, but this is a ghost pepper. This one, <laughs> okay, this one is called a pepper penis. And it is called that because on the back it actually says because um, it is named that for its resemblance to a piece of the male anatomy. So I thought that was funny uh, and I decided to get that. The Scoville on this is 10,000 to 30,000. And then the last of the peppers I got, oh, did I get, oh, I got two of these. So I have uh, four jalapenos, um, that's right. And then the last thing that I got is something that I have never grown before, and that is asparagus. We do like to eat asparagus around here. The thing about asparagus is that you need to plant it and leave it where it's going to be because it takes about two or three years before you can actually start harvesting this. Uh, I don't know if you can see, probably not, but down in there, there actually is an asparagus growing. Um, but I have to find a spot that I'm going to put these where I'm going to be okay with them taking up that space for the rest of their lives. So I've got to figure that out. But yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. So what I am going to do though with all of these is I am just going to separate them because like I said, they are super easy to separate. I've got a bucket down here where the dirt's going to fall into and I mean, maybe ideally because these are a lot larger, they're not the best to separate, but I'm separating them. So, and if you, if you do decide to separate it, just, just do them, you know, carefully. Yeah, the roots are going to be a little intertwined, but that's okay if you just kind of get in there and just wiggle your fingers a little bit. It should help loosen them and then you can just kind of come through and pull. Don't pull hard enough to where that you start hearing the roots snap. Uh, that's what you don't want. I mean, if a couple snap, I think it'll be okay, but gardening doesn't have to be as complicated as it's made out to be. And like that, see, look, two plants now. So what I need to do now is one of these is just gonna go right back into the pot that I bought it from. And because these roots are pretty long, I did take my dowel and press down pretty deep in there. And then I'm just going to carefully maneuver these roots down into the bottom there. And then I'm going to just cover them up and sort of press down on the soil so that it holds the, the the plant upwards, upright, but there you go. And I think when these are at nurseries, they are not brought inside, so they are pretty much hardy, uh, hardened off, I, I believe. I should have asked, I meant to ask when I was there, um, but I forgot. So they should be good to go outside, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna harden off all of my plants over the next couple of days and once those are hardened off and I get everything ready to be planted I will just plant those along with everything else. So I'm gonna finish getting these all taken care of and separated And the outro to this video is going to be pretty similar to the last one because that was actually supposed to go in this video right here. <laughs> um, so I will say it again that I am really, really happy with the choice that I made going ahead and putting these in new soil um, with the problems that I was having. 
This is one of those pepper plants that I was having issues with and um, I'm just really glad that I went ahead and changed out the soil in there because they were not doing well. I, that soil, like I said, was just really holding on to the water um, and not draining. So yeah, that is all I got to say about that. Uh, I'm learning every single day uh, about my garden, how to do my garden, what works for my garden, what doesn't work for my garden. And I'm making it work. It just takes work. That's a lot of work. Anyways, so I just want to say thank you so much to every single one of you who watches my videos. I can't say it enough how much I appreciate you. And I hope that this inspires you to get out there and grow a garden of your own. And I will see you next time. Bye.